Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today is Friday, so Friday Souls, I'm happy that you are here. So right now I am just working on this keychain for my husband because his birthday is coming up. But don't worry, I'm gonna get him more than just this keychain. Okay, so while that is stitching up, I'm gonna share with you uh, just a few things. So like I made another project for my daughter. Okay, so that stopped. We'll go ahead and we'll check that out here in a minute. I've been making these key fobs. So they come like this. Well, I actually make them like this and then I like embroider their name on them. And so I just made one for my husband, just a little trinket for him to have. And then... Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about is, sorry, I'm having some problems here. Um, I did buy some stuff from All A Dollar for the sewing room. I'm going to go through that. I bought some stuff for the pegboard. I hope that it fits. So these were a dollar. It says they are wing hooks for a pegboard. Let's open them up and see if they fit because look what else I found for a dollar. If they fit, I'm gonna go back and get some more. I haven't been filming with my pegboard in the background because it actually is more functional than it is cute, which is a good thing. So let me see, first we're gonna try that. Oh, and then I am also going to talk to you about, uh, I found this new fun sewing channel so I wonder if it's yours. So stick around and I will share with you about that. She's also a Friday Sews uh, YouTuber as well. And then I finished another dress for Project Dress a Girl. So I will show you that one. And let's see, what was the other thing? Oh, and then the question of the week for Friday Sews is what is the most unusual fabric that you've sewn with? I guess I would say like what type of fabric or something have you put in your sewing machine? And I'm going to be thinking about that for me as well. I do also want to mention the weather. It's kind of cold already. I live in Utah, but it went from like 103 degrees to like 75. <laughs> and so that is still warm, but in my house, it's like freezing. So what I'm wearing is this long sleeve shirt that I made. I don't know if I really like it. The neck is actually really high but it's McCall's 8244 so a whole bunch of us made these and posted them on Instagram and so this is my make right here it is kind of big um I do like the cuff sleeves I might make it again I think that this green should have carried down to here kind of like what the models did um well she's got a different color right here I think next time I might do one color here and then one color over here. Oh yeah, she did it right. She did exactly what I feel like I should have done. See, and I messed up. Well, I think that was my original plan though, was to make both arms look the same. Uh, but it, I don't know, as I'm wearing it now, I'm like, what is up with this shirt? I, I wore it once out in public um, and now I'm just, you know, kind of wearing it inside the house. So maybe I'll try to make it again where it makes more sense. Anyways, I just thought I would show that to you in case anyone was interested. Okay, so I'm dying to see if these pegboard hooks actually work on my pegboard. Because I kind of have a feeling that it's going to like go in but then plop back out. Yeah, it doesn't really work. I, I'll bring you a little bit closer so you can see. And then you also just saw my pajama pants, which don't really match my outfit, but whatever. So look, it doesn't, it's not long enough to go like that. But it is pretty sturdy if I want to keep it like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna try these ones. These are called loop hooks. So this is what they look like. These ones fit really nicely, you guys. I'm gonna have to go back to, these are a dollar. 
And so those ones actually seem like they fit like you can put things in it like that. I feel like I scored because if you were, I mean, do you know how much it would be to purchase these pegboard accessories at like Lowe's or Home Depot or like Amazon? Like, do you know? Because I, I don't really know how much they would be. <laughs> but I feel like they would be more than a dollar. Okay, let me see. What about these? Fits as well. And these ones are like curvy things to put round things in. So I'm trying to think, what could I put in these ones? Um... Obviously, you know, something round. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. I'll play around with those ones and see. Okay, I just thought of something. If I take those off. So these come in a pack of six. And I was really going slim on trying to figure out storage for my surging threads. So this is perfect and that looks so cute. So I'm gonna do a little bit of some reorganization here. Okay, let me show you some other stuff that I found at All A Dollar. I got some pipe cleaner. I love these to clean out my sewing machine. It can get really down in there and then it like picks up the lint. And in fact, I do need to clean out my sewing machine like right now. And then I also got this stuff, which I kind of already took out of its packaging, but I love these dot labels. This is for um, me marking the center of my projects when I do embroidery because I'm an embroiderist now. And then I found these clamps. They There were six of them in a package. And these are good because I'm making a quilt and I'm keeping all the different cuts together. And so i clamping these. Well, I feel like we all can use some more clamps in our life. And then I got these sticker labels. So a lot of times I'll need to write down like the front or the back, you know, of the shirt. Or I can write down wrong side, right side if I'm sewing something that is like a rib knit or something where it's hard to tell the front to the back. And then I got this washi tape because I feel like we always need some quick tape, especially to tape things down. Duh. Sorry. Uh, whenever I film in the morning, I struggle a bit because my coffee still hasn't sunk in and whatever. So let me move on. This is another thing that I got from All A Dollar. And I was like, score. Look, it's a cute, it's a little cutting mat. We all need these little cutting mats. Like even this is a mat, you can even use it to, when you're doing tiny little projects or you're doing like hot glue gun things. I always need to measure my projects and I actually have these in all different sizes. So I even have this one right here. I have them on all of my tables. And so when I saw this at All A Dollar, I decided to get it. You can't pass something up like this. Um, let me see what else would you might find exciting. Oh, I bought one of these. I've seen this. It's a facial ice roller. It helps to iron seams. And then also in between sewing, I can like iron my face. Okay, now let's see how this key fob is turning out. Here is... It says Matthew, that is my husband's name. Uh, it kind of went up into the stitch at the top. It's not completely centered, but it, it's okay. You know, it's okay. The first one that I tried was really bad. So the first one I tried really kind of went up into that area. So I could just embroider it first and then 
construct the rest of it. So, but this one is a little bit better. So I will just go ahead and continue. And then this top one right here is going to be a personalized bib. Let me show you a different one. It, they're just so cute. So I'm working on putting these items in my Etsy shop. Oh my gosh. Like, isn't that just so cute? These are baby drool bibs. And well, I do have them, some of them in my Etsy shop right now. This one is for a little girl named Aspen. And I showed you last week how easy it is to attach the stat snaps. Last week, I showed you how to attach them to your dress. I'm actually, you know, I'm also attaching them to these cute drool, drool bibs. So those are available in my shop if you have an, a grandbaby that you're expecting on the way. And I can embroider a cute personalized bib for them. So I'm just going to clean out my machine as I'm talking to you because I'm trying to think of a unconventional fabric that I've tried sewing with. But you know what? I get, no okay, I do want to sew with cork. But I, you know, I don't like to sew with like the sweater rib knits. I think that's as fancy as I get with sewing with fabric because I don't like all the material that gets stuck in my sewing machine. And then also like putting it through the serger and things like that. And that's why also, you know, sometimes people will sew with glitter or even I don't like to sew with like glitter tool. It gets everywhere. And I don't like all those materials going into my machine. You know, what have you sewn with? And is it not even a big deal? I'm gonna show you guys because I think it's funny to see how, when I open up my sewing machine, I'm gonna see how much lint is in there. Not that it is a good thing because I, I try to clean my sewing machine out well, I clean it out once a week. So sometimes if I'm not sewing that much, I won't, but I, but let's go ahead and I'll open it up and I'll show you the camera. I don't know if that's stupid or not. Okay, so yeah, see, it's not too bad. Let me pull this out. Okay, and then there is where we find all the lint. So I'm just gonna take my brush and clean out all of that lint. And then work my way over here. Get it out of that area. Oh, see, that gets into those hard to reach areas. And it will get clear back in here. See? And I can scoot it right into here. I can even do like a flossing motion to get right in here like this. Okay, so this uh, sewing YouTuber that I've been having fun watching, her name is, and I have it right here, The Curated Curvy. And this is just a little snapshot of her YouTube channel. So you wanna go and check it out. I had a lot of fun because she basically has this video that says literally trying to sew all the things. And that is how I am. I am like literally trying to sew everything all at once. And I know that I've talked to you guys about this before where I do kinda, well, I feel like I have ADHD. I don't take any medication for it because I think I can manage it by doing lists and reminders and also going on hikes. I have to do a brain dump. I have so much creativity going on in my mind that sometimes I can drive myself crazy. I've been also, you know, going back to church and taking a break 
from all this sewing. Like I have a quilt that I need to get done. The fall patterns are coming out for Simplicity and McCall's. I want to sew them all. And then with the Project Dress a Girl, I want to make that, but okay, anyway, see, even right now, I'm like going off topic. So you gotta go check out the Curated Curvy. She does her Friday sews as well. So she's a brand new channel. I just thought it was exciting to kind of give her a shout out. She has under a thousand subscribers. So go and check her out and subscribe as well when we as sewing YouTubers have people subscribe it, it's kind of fun and it keeps us motivated to make more videos so that leads me to I just want to thank you guys for subscribing and liking and commenting and supporting my channel because it makes me excited to keep putting out new videos also project dress a girl is in full swing I did finish I think you guys saw like my pineapple dress I did finish it let me go and get it okay sorry it's kind of like a cluttery mess right now but it's Friday it's the end of the week and so I do need need to organize my sewing room but I wanted to show you I got this pineapple dress finished I think it is so cute it's for the project dress a girl I attached this um, tag that they want you to put on this is the label that they want you to put on all the dresses this is from the simplicity 9200 it's the tunic pattern but I lengthened it a lot for the dress a girl and it's just got this really cute elastic neck band and I love how it's got the separate bodice and then the ruffles and if you don't know how to ruffle with your serger please check out this link above it will save you so much time and then you'll get so many more dresses made for the project dress a girl so I do hope that you have a wonderful weekend and get lots of sewing in and check out all the other videos in the hashtag Friday Sews. So until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys. <music>